After seeing images of the incredibly exquisite artwork inspired by Asian mythology, this is one shmup I just had to get my hands on. We've got no shortage of demonic topless babes to sate your moral corruption. Heck, that's why I've played over 900 hours. Just kidding, but not really. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Hey guys, Dace here, and today I'll be sharing my review of Shikondo Soul Eater for Nintendo Switch. A horde of soul-consuming demons known as yokai have escaped limbo, spreading fear and wickedness across the land. Can two naughty nymphomaniacs known only as Grim Reaper and The Girl put a stop to the torment unleashed by these nefarious spirits? To find out, you'll need to battle your way through five levels of increasing intensity and conquer the demon mistress of each stage. Only then will peace be restored. The play modes include Arcade, Boss Rush, Local Co-op, Novice, Custom, and Hardcore all of which can be played on easy, normal, hard, or extreme. I like hardcore because you get one life and no continues, but your soul gauge charges twice as fast. If I'm feeling more casual, then I'll play arcade mode on extreme, as I always love a good challenge. You have infinite lives, so any sense of replayability will surely come from those challenging themselves to make it through the game with fewer and fewer continues used. Grim Reaper is one of the two playable characters at our disposal. She attacks with a widespread wave of dark energy, and if you look closely enough, you can see that each shot is actually a shadowy butterfly. The girl, on the other hand, shoots a stream of red-colored flowers. Both girls have a secondary mode of firing, which can be achieved by holding down the second attack button. Grim Reaper can funnel her attack into a concentrated flow that shoots out straight in front of her, and the girl can send out two orbs which automatically track and fire upon enemies anywhere on screen. These can be recalled to her side at any time. It's important to note that while using these secondary attack modes, both players will move more slowly, which can sometimes be to your advantage or disadvantage. In addition to both forms of attack, each character has access to soul attack tokens, which essentially serve as screen clearing bombs. The graze mechanic is also used in this game. By getting close enough to enemy fire without taking damage, you begin to fill your soul gauge and, once full, you can unleash a powerful wave of energy which also has a second phase if using a soul attack token. This brings about an insane amount of destruction. The levels are nicely paced and the boss fights are such a blast. Each boss has two forms and a wide range of attacks that filter onto the screen in brilliant, mesmerizing displays. I found the controls smooth enough, the one big issue I have noticed every single time I've played is how out of nowhere your character will get stuck in one spot and won't be able to move unless you wiggle them free with the stick or d-pad. This can lead to taking hits that you would have easily avoided otherwise. At first I thought this might be some intentional unseen force caused by an enemy, but after paying closer attention and having it happen more often, and for seemingly no reason, I came to the conclusion that it's likely a bug. If so, it'd be great if they patched this someday, as it's a pretty major negative against the game, and one I've heard countless other people mention from their own experiences. I found the music of the title screen and menus to be absolutely fantastic. The songs used in each stage were fine, but didn't really grip me like in some games, and I felt as though the boss fight music was really wonky and not at all to my liking. The sounds of enemies exploding or triggering your ultimate attack were great, though overall I felt like they could have done a lot more with the sound effects as the game felt fairly lackluster in that regard. All in all, my favorite thing about Shikondo is definitely the art style, masterfully crafted with rich color and detail. Deer Farm and Digirati have unleashed a beautiful and unique bullet hell that I'm thankful to have in my collection. It's a refreshing switch from the norm, and although this isn't a shmup I'd play every day, I do always enjoy getting back into it from time to time. Anyway everybody, that's going to wrap things up for today. Be sure to leave your comments below. Uh, I always love hearing the, the feedback, if you've played this one, what you thought. Uh, what things you may have experienced in it that you maybe noticed that I didn't, any of that kind of stuff. And yeah, as always, have an awesome day. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.